I've said this before, just please try and hear me this time. Jason does not abuse me. I'm not saying that he physically abuses you. All like Jason does like, oh, is, is protect me. Don't you understand that? He isolates you. He keeps you dependent on him. I think it's safe to say that you're not allowed to ask him certain questions about himself or anything about his work, yet he can ask questions about you. You're living your life at his convenience, and that is an equitable relationship, which by its very nature is abusive. Why are you so quick to judge something that you do not understand? Is it a fair analysis? Alexis, I have been in plenty of abusive relationships before. I have been lied to. I have been cheated on. I have been smacked around. Jason does not do that. He is the exact opposite. Jason is kind and, and respectful. He's supportive of everything that I do. You've paid a big price for that so-called support. Jason is the best thing that's ever happened to me. And if you want to help me, stay out of my life, please. Any sign of Manny or Elizabeth? Nothing so far. Then he's found a way out of the hospital. Manny is still here. He must be hiding somewhere in the building. We're starting a floor-to-floor -floor search. Jason, is Elizabeth been found? No, not yet. How did you find out about this? I called my son. I wish you hadn't have done that. Well, I'm sorry, Mac, but I thought it was the right thing to do. Commissioner! This is a police investigation, Jason. Okay. What happened? I wasn't here when Manny kidnapped Elizabeth, but I know he has a knife and I believe that he took her through the south corridor. Okay, how many how many stairwells and elevators are accessible from that corridor? Four or five. Alcazar, I want locations of all your safe houses. My people are already searching Okay, you were working with Manny. You double-crossed him. Manny likes to play games. He might decide to use your own network against you. I will give you access, but only to bring Elizabeth back safely. We think we... <laughs> Elizabeth, look at me. Look at me. Now, I apologize for the inconvenience, really. But the morgue is our best bet for getting out of the hospital, you know? You can just leave me here. Yeah, but I still need you for leverage, you know? I'll be right back. I'm sorry that you got involved. I really wish you would have stayed out of it. And I bet you probably feel the same way now, huh? Police, they have roadblocks. Airport's been alerted. We just gotta make sure Manny doesn't try to escape by water. Just call me if you find out anything. I thought you should know that Manny spent a lot of time talking to that janitor. I need your help. You've got a spill in room 412. Get on it. You got it. Not a thing, because I'm concentrating on my work, like you should be doing. Thanks. A few things might be broken in there, but I'll handle it. I'll go find Elizabeth. I guess you're eager to get your wife back, huh? That was quick. Why don't you just let her go? Put the gun down and take her from me. Come on, Free. Come on. Hey, look. 
Are you okay? Man, that looks painful, man. You want me to put you out of your misery? Huh? Sorry, Elizabeth. <laughs> no, no, Manny, don't. Speak with Jason? Well, he's not here. Then I'll appeal to you. Emily is deeply hurt by the way Jason has been treating her. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. How dare you barge in here and go through my personal papers? Well, why do your personal papers include a file on my Aunt Alexis? To me. Let her go. He needs an ambulance. Elizabeth will leave, Manny, him, remember? Please, he needs help. Elizabeth, the only reason your husband is still alive is because you love him. Now I owe you because you were decent to me. And I always repay my debts. You can leave her out or no. Just let her go. And give up my insurance policy? I don't think so. Come on, we're going for a boat ride. Let her go! Hey, what's up? Oh. I don't think so. I got a better idea. Why don't you put that gun down? Rock killer, man. <laughs> 